supposed to be down at the bottom My bro told me go get on my god Don't you walk with God, you better not doubt him David, wake up people back with round two NBA playoffs 2022 check uh, you know episode on the prediction on round one compare and contrast you know how you did and your thoughts on games and, and the series as well too and um, you know I, I was pretty close almost got perfect in terms of you know I didn't I, I, I didn't think Utah would exit the first round but you know they did and um, I believe that team's gonna break up eventually because uh, you know they had their share of runs the last couple of years but it just didn't go anywhere so it's time to you know separate the team and, and move on to the next step um, but um let me get my predictions for uh round two starting on the eastern side uh bucks versus celtics you know another interesting one uh you know middleton is out for the whole series you know about that you know Milton is the guy down the stretch that really leads the team and you know gets them those um difficult buckets down the stretch you know Giannis with the ball in his hand the last two minutes you know with the free throw situation um it's not the ideal situation for, for the Bucks and Drew Holiday he's just not that type of player that will carry the team like that and, and, and hit tough shots after tough shots you know down the stretch you know it really makes it tough for me to go with the Bucks, but the only way they're going to win is, is, is I think if Boston um, defeats themselves, you know, you know, sometimes they can tend to go into hero ball and, and not play for each other, you know, that's when that, they're at their worst, but, you know, there's a reason why they were, um, I believe, 33-10 and 10 in the North second half of the season, number one defensive team, and record-wise, number one you know second half of the season so I know that wasn't an accident right and they're still continuing to play well so I mean if they play well they'll win if Bucks can you know slow down Tatum slow down Brown you know get them to be to be rattled in tough situations you know uh, Bucks will have a good chance without Middleton um, to win you know and, and hopefully they don't keep the game close they don't have to go to Giannis or Holiday during crunch time as well right but um who am i gonna go with um you know this is a really really uh tough one i would have to go with bucks and six and moving on to the heat versus uh seven sixers um you know this one could be a, a really quick series you know based on Embiid's injury um to his um eye or face area and um you know we'll said he might be back game three you know, even if he's back game three or not, you know, I think he had this one. I believe they're just a the better team um, overall, you know, from one to 15. And they have the better coach as well, too, right? So if, if, if well, Joel comes, uh, you know, game three, you know, how in shape is he going to be? You know, is he going to be 100%, you know, down to nothing? I, you know, I, I really think um, he's going to take those first two games at home. All right, so it really puts them in a tough spot. Or, you know, Harden's gonna have 50, 50 point triple double games, then, you know, they, they, they give themselves a chance. But he hasn't really done that the whole season, right? So it's really gonna make it tough on them. But, um, you know, I, I would say, you know, with Embiid or not, I, I would say uh, he would take this one and they'll beat the uh, four to two. Uh, going on the west side, Suns versus uh, who they facing? Suns versus uh, Mavs, and um, you know it's gonna be an interesting. One Mavs are been on a roll, you know, with Luca, without Luca, so you know they've been shooting the lights out from the three point line, right? Um, Jalen Brunson has been playing amazing. Ben Woody has been an amazing pickup for for the Mavs. You know, just kids and coaching them well. Uh, but you know, Suns have been through the trenches. You know, 
the last year you know they know what it takes they have the same core group you know riding the wave this year as well and um, you know could come down to Chris Paul's health Booker's health he's not 100% yet but he's almost there right so you know it's really gonna come down to you know who, who, who the healthiest team between between these uh, two teams you know they're really two good teams defensively and offensively but I think Suns have just have more pieces, all around pieces, on their squad, and I'm gonna have to go with Suns four to two. And lastly, Golden State and Memphis. Uh, this one is gonna be an exciting one. You know, it's gonna be a lot of up and down, but you know, Golden State is just a much better team, more experienced team, championship DNA team. Memphis. You know, I would, I would say next year they have a chance to win the championship. But right now, they're just young and they're just new to all of this uh, playoff stuff and, 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 and knowing what it takes to win a championship. And I believe they're going to have enough experience this year to make it next year. Right? They'll, the games will be close, but, you know, Gold State's going to take this one 4 to 1. Right, so you know those are my those are my uh, takes on it, and, and why I choose what I choose and say what I say. You know, you know, just based on you know watching the games, watching the games throughout the season. You know, checking the stats. You know, being updated on news, and you know, collectively adding all the data up and, and making the decision. Right. So at the end of the day, um, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be good basketball at the end of the day as, as, as a fan or fans. And um, you know, you can learn a lot and be also entertained as well too. All right. Um. You know. See you guys round three and uh, peace out. Bye.